Hey, Jim. Would you mind explaining to us how the, the gears work when, once again? Yeah, we can explain to you how the gears work while we're here. So, the object of the game, one of the three objects of the game, is to take these gears. They, they originate from over here. If I was the Blue Alliance, there are 18 of these yellow gears back here behind the Alliance station here, behind the retrieval station, and the human players can slide them down these ramps into the robot. The robot can pick them up from the floor or receive them directly. They bring them over here, and they have to put them onto these pegs. The pilots then lift the lifts up into the airship, bring the gears up into the airship, and they place them into the position. They start with one in the airship that cannot be placed in autonomous mode, but can be placed in teleop mode. That one goes in the center to activate the large first rotor. After that, they place two more on the consoles up here on these pegs. Here, after they place the second one, they can turn this lever to activate. They, they revolve that lever three times to activate that second rotor. The scoring is progressive, so it takes more gears with each subsequent rotor to get the rotors activated. The most you can get if you score 12 gears is to get all four rotors rotated, and that gives you an extra ranking point in your score if you can do that. That's very difficult to do, and in week one across the nation, I believe it was only done four times. So it's very difficult to do. All right, thank you, Jim. Now, does it matter where you put the pegs, or can you just put, put them on any, any uh, peg for, for the gears? Can you put them on any peg, or is there an order? Uh, you can put them on any peg. They just won't count unless you have them connected. So they're, they start from the rotor and move progressively out for the rotor. You have to score, you have to initiate the rotors sequentially where you start with the center one, then this one, then this one, and finally this one. So it takes progressively more gears with each time to do it. The way the field is currently configured, you have to score 12 gears in order to score all of them. The last one takes six. So it's as much work to score the first three as it is to score the fourth one. So it's a tricky balance. Um, the big scores in this in this game uh, are for uh, the end game ready for takeoff hanging bonus. You get 50 points per robot for the hanging bonus. So there's a very large premium associated with that end game bonus. Looks like all of our robots are now connected. Uh, FTA is still on the field, helping out rookie team 66-33. We try to be as inclusive as possible. Uh, every team who plays at a district competition gets 12 qualifying matches. So there's a total of 80 qualifying matches for our 40 teams here today. Each team will get 12 attempts. Um, at Scoring as many points as possible. The top scoring leaders will then become alliance captains for the alliance selection play and then subsequent playoffs that will be happening on Saturday afternoon. All right, looks like we might be good to go. The FTAs are giving a thumbs up. We got a green light on the console. So we're going to check, make sure our teams are not sleeping behind the glass. So let's double check. Red Alliance, are you guys ready to go? Hey, is this broken? Hey, Ellen, is this a bad display or is that a wrong number? Just checking. Okay. Red Alliance looks like they're ready. And let's double check with our Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance, are you guys ready? You guys are ready? Ready, 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 ready. Everybody's in the in the box. Looks like we're good to go. Abe, we're ready. Ellen is ready. Let's go in three, two, one, go.
And we're off in qualification match number one. For that blue side, Mercy Midnight Storm crosses that baseline. For that red alliance, the Las Gorillas. And 11.89, the Gearheads also move across that baseline. That's five points apiece for each team. Unofficial score, 10 to 5 in favor of the red. Blue line, 66-33, drives down. They may be going back to drop off that peg. Oh, and look at that sea of neon is dropped off by 66-33. Meanwhile, Mercy Midnight Storm drops the gear off. Their pilot also has one propeller going. They're looking to grab a second gear for that for that red alliance. 2673 drops a gear off. The pilot pulls it up and they secure it. The Las Gorillas, Team 469, looks to do the same for that red alliance. 95 seconds to go in this match. 95 seconds to go. The Gearheads, 1189, tries to pick up a gear and just quite didn't make it. Oh! And they missed the second one. Las Gorillas lining up one more time to pick up a gear. And they have one secured. Meanwhile, Mercy Midnight Storm lines up and wet gear drops. Can they get the second one? Their driver is trying to line up and they do. Gear is secured. Moving on down back to that blue alliance zone. One minute to play. One minute to play in qualification match number two. 469 lining up for that gear. It's going up. Their human player grabs it. Unofficial score 95 85 in favor of that Red Alliance. Two rotors for the blue, two rotors for the red. Ten points separates the teams, and we're getting close to that hand. Teams get ready to release those ropes for the climbs. 469 looks to try to grab a gear, and they couldn't get it, so they're going to go down and try to climb. 15 seconds left. Gearheads are in position, and they're cranking up. Five seconds to go. Mercy Midnight Storm, will they be the one team to climb? And they just quite didn't get it. Unofficial score, 95-85 in favor of that Red Alliance. All right, a close score at the end. We're going to wait for our final scores here in just a moment. For those of you who are new to Steamworks, there's a little tell in the scoring. The airships have a little animated race before we show the final score. The actual winner of the race in the animation indicates which color alliance actually wins. All right, here come our final scores. And it looks like it's blue with a win of 140 to 95. The Blue Alliance winning. All right, great job by the Blue Alliance. Looks like they got one ready for takeoff hang. Penalties on both sides. First time out for all of these teams in the first rounds of this centerline. 2017 robotics competition.